Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate probabilities for binomial experiments. So we can calculate the probability of obtaining exactly x successes in a binomial experiment with n trials that has a probability of success p and a probability of failure q using the following formula. So our probability of x successes is this kind of long thing that looks really intimidating, but is actually pretty easy. So n choose x. Well, this, remember, is a combination. That's what n choose x means. And we have a formula for that. You can also do n choose x pretty simply in a calculator, but if you want to do it by formula, that formula was n factorial divided by n minus x factorial times x factorial. And so that's going to be our combination of how many ways we could get this outcome times p raised to the x power. So remember, p is your probability of success. And x is your number of successes. So we're raising the probability of success to the number of successes power. And then we're multiplying that by the probability of failure, which is our q, raised to the n minus x power. Well, think about if we have n trials and x of them are successes, that would mean that n minus x is the number of failures. So we have probability of success raised to the number of success power times probability of failure raised to the number of failures power. All of that multiplied by our combination n choose x. Okay, so we've got our formula, let's see it in action. So suppose a die is tossed seven times. What is the probability of getting exactly three fives? So the first thing that I like to do with these is write down my information. I know I'm gonna need to have n, x, p, and q. n represents my number of trials. How many times am I doing the experiment? In this case, I'm rolling the die seven times. x represents my number of successes. So in this case, I'm looking to get three successes. So x is three. Next, P represents my probability of success. So when I toss a die, what is the probability of rolling a five? Well, there's one five out of six possible outcomes. So my probability of rolling a five or getting a success is one out of six. For Q, we know that our probability of failure is always one minus P. So in this case, one minus one six is five sixths. Okay, putting that together now, our probability that x equals 3, so we have three successes, will be 7 choose 3 times our probability of success, 1 out of 6, raised to the number of successes power, 3, times our probability of failure, 5 out of 6 raised to the number of failures power. If I'm doing this 7 times and 3 are a, a success, then that would make 4 as the failure. Okay, so doing some calculations here, you can use your calculator or your formula. 7 choose 3 is 35. So I'm going to be doing 35 times 1 over 6 to the 3 power, times 5 over 6 to the 4th power. 
Typing that all into my calculator, I get 0 0.0781. So the probability of getting exactly three fives when rolling a die seven times is just over 7%, or 0 0.0781. Now, these values, this particular formula, can get a little crazy. So you can also use a function in your calculator called the binomial probability distribution function or shortened, that would be binomial PDF, right here, PDF meaning probability distribution function, that is under the distribution menu. If you are using a TI-83 or 84 calculator, the distribution menu can be found by doing second VARS, which is right next to the clear button. When you bring up that distribution menu, you will see this type of menu. Now, when it first comes up, you won't see this binomial PDF. Notice that on my screen, I'm starting with option seven. So you do need to scroll down just a little, and when you bring up binomial PDF, you might see a screen that looks like this. It's going to ask you to enter your number of trials. Our number of trials is our N. It's going to ask you for your p-value, your probability of success, and it's going to ask you for your x-value. You're then going to highlight paste, and it will bring you to the home screen. You're just going to hit enter. If you don't see a screen like this, if it just brings you to your home screen, and you see binome, p, d, f, and an open parentheses, then you are simply going to type your values in that order. You're going to type N, then use your comma key, type your P, use your comma key, type your X, and then close parentheses and hit enter. Either way, it will give you that same value. All right, guys, that does it for this video on introduction to binomial probabilities. We'll catch you in the next one.